Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to Car Talk, episode number 11 uh, with Mike DiPaolo. Today, I think uh, we should talk about um, basement apartments and or converting your property to an income property with an additional apartment or accessory apartment. So this is basically one of the best ways to um, get extra income. You do have to sacrifice some of your own personal space for it, but it, in the end, it's, uh, you know, basement apartments or additional apartments now, they're anywhere from $1,400 for a one bedroom. Yeah, you heard me, a one bedroom uh, apartment is $1,400 and up. So that is some good income that can pay your entire mortgage if you bought your home a while back. So you can contract it out to convert your basement or whatnot into an apartment. So let me just tell you the best things to look for. One, we have to have what we call an egress window um, that allows for a second escape. You have to have two ways of exits for an additional accessory apartment. Okay, egress windows, if you call around, you can install one. Uh, it will cost anywhere to have it installed from $1,500 to $2,500. You can put in a separate walkway, a separate entrance. That's going to cost you probably about $10,000 for a separate entrance, but that could be very well worth it if uh, you have access down the side of your house or you know you, your house is set up so you don't have a separate entrance. So that's well worth the investment because um, you know, um, you're know you gonna start collecting money right away. To professionally have a basement finished nowadays, I've had a few quotes lately. Even for the smallest basement, uh, you're looking at like from start to finish, one bedroom, a decent kitchen, bath, and whatnot, you're looking at a minimum of around 35,000 to $45,000. Uh, if you have it professionally and I know I've been quoted a couple of uh, quotes for $50,000 um, For something that I thought was a little bit excessive, but it, you, you could shop around I have a few basement people if you do need uh, to have it done if you choose to do it yourself It may take you some time, but you know, you could probably sling it out. I'm doing my own uh, Myself right now and it's been taking me a while because I've been working and working on it on the side but it is doable if you have um, certain knowledge and you have some um, friends you might have some time on their hands that can give you a hand. So then I, I could, you could probably finish a basement for about material wise about twenty to twenty five thousand dollars and I priced it out that's for like 600 square feet. Nothing special the costs were probably about 18 to 20 if you do it the way I do it which is probably you know I'm going a little bit overboard with uh, fireproofing and soundproofing but I'm gonna be also living there so I want to make sure the soundproofing is good okay so from start to finish you know um, you'd want to get a permit and that's gonna require drawings and whatnot you can draw your own up you can have uh, it uh, it done up for you submit it to the city they've been they've been you know probably turn around for permits are probably about two weeks I think and then you get started immediately you have to also call up ESA um, for your electrical work and that's a separate permit altogether but everything else will be covered under the regular permit and you'll have various inspections throughout the stages uh, rough in plumbing you'll have um, you know your insulation and vapor barrier then your drywall then the final um, you know inspections for plumbing and whatnot and then um, they give you your ticket for occupancy after the final inspection so that permit will cost probably about three to four hundred dollars um, and you know you talk to the inspectors here they're actually pretty good of giving you you know tips and and whatnot on how to uh, finish a product uh, finish the basement when they come over for the first rough in inspection so once you have that all done you know you have to have that egress secondary window or a walk up uh, to have a legal um, basement you also have to have a certain amount of um, light space per square footage per room so this is all if you're in Kitchener it's on the kitchener.ca uh, website for duplexing um, if you are at, in other um, areas you could probably look on your local um, city hall website and they'll 
probably have the same as the Kitchener where it gives you a whole list of items you need for duplexing and a lot of the specifications. I know I had to change out a window that I just put in there because it was literally, I don't know, 0.5 something too small for the amount of light that the floor space needed so that's one thing and one thing I, I thought would apply is I I have a side entrance door with I put a full glass light in there to bring the light in because I, I saw that on a couple rental commercial uh, um, programs but that doesn't count unless it's on the same floor so because it's a walk downstairs it doesn't apply for the amount of light coming into um, the basement apartment so that's one thing you have to remember too you have to your windows have to be large enough and they've got a whole formula on the website as well when you're duplexing you might have to change some of those out you know you might have to put the egress window in so an egress window is a window that opens in one motion so it's a usually one big pane and so it's just one motion to remove the whole thing and it can't be uh, no side can be uh, smaller than 15 inches and it has to be oh, 3.74 square foot total um, so if you go if you're local you go to Dan's discount windows and doors they have a few different egress windows there that you can buy and install I, I installed my own it was a little bit uh, challenging I had to borrow a, a concrete saw but uh, it was hard to get I had a couple of people I had come in to do all the windows I specifically asked them do you do egress windows and they all said yes I brought them through and then by the time they gave me the quote they're like oh yeah so we could do all these windows but you have to get someone to cut out the egress opening and no one will just come in and do the egress opening if they're gonna cut it out they want to sell you the window and then everything install it as well so bear that in mind when you're looking at that and you're calling in companies to replace your windows and doors they have to you know specifically have to do the cutting of the concrete for the egress window okay so those are the tips and trades so you have to have fire rating uh, throughout the house so you have to have certain fire rating blocking uh, for your um, anything that has a vent that's going outside you have to fire rate the actual duct area that comes through what's called coffining uh, with drywall uh, you have to have two layers of drywall or uh, 15 to half hour of fire rated uh, materials in between the floors that is the big thing and believe it or not they've got a whole bunch of specifics on door openings now so you know the exterior door has to be 32 inches and a lot of the other doors access to the utility room has to be 32 inches so a couple large doors um, so yeah other than that if you have one furnace that is servicing the both properties you also have to have a um, induct smoke alarm that's going to trip the furnace off if it senses smoke so that is the one thing I've called around for a few places for you know, try to get someone to do that they don't do it also uh, if you're not going to drywall your furnace room uh, you have to install a um, a sprinkler system which that cost me $1,200 to bring in stump to do that they did it quickly they did a good job uh, but it's something if you're not gonna fire rate the ceiling I know it's harder with the ducts in the furnace room and I have all my plumbing on there too so I could I can put um, a ceiling on there uh, without all these holes so basically yeah I had to put a sprinkler system in there so those are little tips and, and whatnot on uh, legally duplexing or having an accessory apartment I uh, hope you find that helpful if you have any other questions you can go to the kitchener.ca site on looking up uh, duplexing uh, you can give me a call 519-897-1031 once you get that uh, accessory apartment done it's pretty easy to rent it out if you do need assistance renting it out feel free to give me a call all right everyone have a great day hope you found this helpful take care bye